first game of 2022 as Tottenham travel to Hertfordshire to take on Watford. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today it is the first game of 2022, obviously. Today we take on Watford who have lost the last five games in a row. So if we don't win today, what is going on? But yeah, um, just want to say Happy New Year to everybody. And yeah, this is the first video of 2022, so I know, I know. But let's hope this year will be a good year. So yeah, let's get into the video. Alright then, so let's have a look at the form coming into today's game at Vicarage Road. So Tottenham, we have a draw, win, win, draw, win, and a win. So, we, so we've done quite well recently, obviously. We are unbeaten in our last six Premier League games. We've got... We've got one, two, three, four wins, and then we have two draws against Liverpool and Southampton. Obviously, after this, um, for for us, obviously we play Chelsea in the cup, um, so that will be a big game. Obviously, as uh, that means we are two matches away from Wembley. So yeah, if we can win this game today, um, hopefully the confidence should be high coming into the Chelsea game. <clears throat> For Watford, this is their form coming into the game. So Watford have a loss, 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 loss. Hold on. Loss, 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 win. So yeah, there we go. I got it in the end. But yeah, Watford, they're obviously their last win was in, in 2021, the 25th of November, a 4-1 win against United. Ever since then, Watford have... A 4 2 defeat against Leicester, 2 1 defeat against Chelsea, 3 1 defeat against Man City, 2 1 defeat against Brentford, and the 4 1 defeat to West Ham. Obviously, after this for Watford, they play in the FA Cup, FA Cup next Saturday against Leicester. So, yeah. Alright, then, so what is my score prediction for today's game at Vicarage Road? Now, realistically, I think we should be beating Watford. You know, if you look at the Premier League table, we're 7th. Their seventeenth. I think ten spaces separate the two teams. But obviously, if if Manchester City do us a favour against Arsenal and hope Palace do us a favour against West Ham, we and and hopefully Wolves do us a favour on Monday night against Man United. We go we go up to fifth and go two points behind Arsenal if they lose to Man City. So yeah, obviously, this is a big game today. Obviously. Because obviously, as I said, we play Chelsea next. Then we got more coming in the FA Cup, and then we got Chelsea again. I'm gonna. Say, I was about to sneeze. <coughs> oh, I knew I was gonna sneeze then. But yeah, um, Watford though, you know, if they win today, they go for they go level on points with Leeds. So yeah, uh, my prediction. I'm gonna say if I'm looking at the predicted lineup, it looks quite strong. I'm going to go Watford 1, Tottenham 3. I think it'll be 3-1 to Tottenham. All right, then. <laughs> so, let's have a look at the players to look out for. So, for Tottenham, obviously, any Watford fans watching the video, I think you need to keep an eye on Harry Kane. Obviously, he could have had two goals, but one of his goals was disallowed. And, uh, to be fair, I think he had a good game against Southampton, in my opinion. I think another player who did well was Deli Ali. Probably won't start today. Um, but if he might come off the bench, maybe. But I think Deli Ali did quite well against Southampton, in my opinion. And I think that's it. So, yeah, um, Watford fans, keep an eye on Kane and Deli Ali. Obviously, for Watford, let's have a look at their 4 1 defeat to West Ham. Obviously, what I think we need to, one man we need to 100% keep an eye on is Emmanuel Dennis. He has been very good so far this season for Watford. 16 games in the Premier League. Eight goals and five assists as a left winger. But re but recently he has been playing up front and obviously he scored inside four minutes against West Ham. I think another player to keep an eye on is Josh King. He's been doing quite well too. And it looks like that um, Yurik, um, Uraj Kuka, um, the Slovakian international, did quite well against West Ham too. So we need to keep an eye on Dennis, King and Kuka. Alright then, so it's time for my predictive lineup to take on Watford this afternoon at Vicarage Road. So in goal, it has to be Hugo Lloris, obviously. I didn't really see him do much um, against 
Southampton, but obviously he did celebrate New Year last night with uh, La Celso and Regulon, I think. So, yeah, obviously, hopefully he didn't get too drunk. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, over the recent goal, uh, Sanchez, Darwin, Davis in the back three. Obviously, they did all right against Southampton. Didn't really see them do much. Um, but, yeah, uh, right wing back, Emerson. Obviously, he did come off with Doherty. And obviously that's and that's probably because we literally played Palace, and then two days later we had Southampton, so I don't really blame Conte there. And so Emerson right wing back, two in the middle of Hoiberg and Skip. I think I think Winks played against Southampton, so yeah, I think he replaced Skip. So I think Skip will come back into the team um, for today's game. Then left wing back, regular obviously he was another player. We celebrated New Year last night with Lloris and Lacelso. So hopefully he didn't get drunk. And yeah, hopefully, let's just pray that. But yeah, and then front three of Maura, Kane and Son. And uh, Kane obviously scored against Southampton. Sonny had a few chances. Maura, um, he did come on for Deli Alley. He didn't really do a lot. But yeah. But yeah, so yeah, my team is Lloris, Sanchez, Dyer, Davis, Emerson, Hoiberg, Skip. Regulon, Mora, Kane and Son. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.